Hi guys, hi, 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 hi. Welcome to the third episode of On the Couch with Fulamans. Guys, uh, you know, I get excited to sit here and just have a chat with you because I mean, who the word of God is just alive unto our bones, right? It's, it just gives us so much peace when we start studying the word and study to, you know, uh, remember. We must never study to forget because I've realized that we lose peace most of the time when we forget the teachings of the word, when we forget the lessons that we learned in our life experiences in general so it is important to always remember the lessons that we learn along our journeys of life and that's how we can make sure that we always have peace about any and every situation that we find ourselves in guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are new i hope you'll find the content on this platform worthy enough for you to subscribe if you have already done so please get your people and their people to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to click the notification bell because it lets you know every time i upload a new video so that you can come check it out and the math in 2022 is still that simple if you like the video like it if you like it give it a thumbs up guys you know what the 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 the, the conversation rather between me and you can only flow when you keep those comments coming i appreciate all of you who keep giving me feedback in any platform of mine i truly appreciate your time and your comments so guys please join those who normally leave their comments leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about the topic that i'm tackling today and lastly at the end of this video if you feel it was inspirational for you i would really appreciate it if you would share it on your platforms because it will inspire other people who are connected to you but not necessarily connected to me even if at the end of this video you feel it wasn't the message for you you didn't waste your time i promise you by watching this video maybe somebody connected to you needs the specific message so share it on your platform anyway and again thank you thank you thank you to those of you who normally share my videos on your platforms i have truly appreciate it guys on the couch you know we go straight into the Bible and we find out how Christ and his disciples made sure that they actually live a life of peace on earth because once we learn those uh, lessons from them then we can start applying them in our lives because we understand that Jesus came as human on earth his disciples were human so if they could live a life of peace on earth then it means if we really study their lives well enough we can also live those the lifestyle of peace on earth and that's what you know i'm passionate about you know living a life of peace and helping others develop such a lifestyle so i hope through these videos i'm helping you to develop that lifestyle of peace and guys i i do offer private sessions if you feel like you if through these videos you get to certain a certain point but beyond that point you can push yourself forward to actually bring yourself to living in peace in all areas of your life then get in contact with me in my dms i offer such you know private sessions uh, in order to help you push through those difficult areas that you can push yourself through, right? Anyway, today we are talking about love growing cold. So I'm on Matthew's, Matthew, I, I always say Matthew's guys, I don't know why. It's Matthew chapter 24 and I'm reading verse 12 and 13. It reads, and because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. 13. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. Guys, <laughs> but because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will 
will grow cold. Matthew chapter 24 verse 12. Verse 13. But he who endures till the end will be saved. You know, the one thing that I've realized, as I said before, is that most of us lose peace as human beings. And, you know, as Christians as well, we lose peace because we forget the teachings of Christ. We forget what the Bible has told us, right? So right now we are learning about Matthew chapter, Matthew chapter 24 verse 12 where Jesus himself was telling his disciples the signs of the end of time. You know, his disciples came to him and said, you know what, please tell us, when, you, when will be the end of time? What will be happening uh, for us to know that we are heading towards the end of time? And one of those things that Jesus shared with them, he said, the sign of the end time will be that the love of many will grow cold right now so many people are hurt so many people don't have peace because you are a member of a church and you feel like the pastors don't care right now pastors most pastors don't have time for their congregation they don't have time to uh, pray for the sick they don't have time to visit people who are sick in their homes or in hospital they don't have time to intercede on behalf of their congregation members pastors are just busy or most pastors are just busy with their own lives either trying to protect themselves trying to provide for their own families and doing all sorts of things even abusing uh, their power as um, spiritual leaders to actually get resources from the poor for themselves remember christ said in the end days the love of many will grow cold even those pastors they are not acting in their own will they are acting out something that christ already told us will happen so do not be shocked when your pastor maybe doesn't come to your house as a christian you must remember that that is what christ said will happen in the end days and for me to to be at peace i need to be at peace just to know that i'm with christ that just to know that god promised never to leave nor forsake me in the end times nobody will care for anybody people will be looking after their own so you can't always be upset and angry and disappointed at people for not doing what you expect them to do or what they used to do previously remember the love of many will grow cold including some of the, our pastors right in families right now families don't care to visit one another we don't care to check on each other why the love of many will grow cold whether in church whether outside of church whether believers or non-believers the love of many will grow cold families you know as as black people especially we are um, a, a communal people right we don't just look after our our nuclear families but these days we are building all these huge walls to just um, close ourselves in right we all are looking at our uh, nuclear families and mo your mom your dad and the kids that's all you care about your cousins your aunts your uncles we don't care about such people why the love of many in the end days will grow cold you will be sick as a family member and maybe nobody will call you nobody will whatsapp you or maybe one person in the entire family of 50 that you are close to will call you don't be surprised when you are a christian because christ already told us in the end the love of many will grow cold and the nice thing about being forewarned is that you can be forearmed 
the reason why Christ shared these things was for his disciples, his apostles to prepare themselves for such a time. So as he, as believers, we also need to prepare ourselves that we have entered into those times where nobody cares for one, for another person. So I mustn't get upset. I mustn't lose peace because people have left me. It is only Christ who made the declaration that he will never leave nor forsake me. Friends, family, parents, daughter, son, whatever it is, those people, even if they met, made such declarations, I tell you, they made declarations as human beings. They didn't know that we will be in 2022 and their love in 2022 would have, gro would, would have um, grown cold right so guys remember the teachings in order for you to maintain your peace you've got friends maybe you're upset maybe you are hurt maybe you are bitter because why people are moving out of your life ever since you lost your job due to COVID-19 right now you don't have anybody to talk to no friends you used to have a group of friends because they were taking from you that everyone had something to gain out of you but now that you need the support of those friends people are nowhere to be found now that you are going through situations that are hurting your mental health negatively you've got nobody to share those feelings with ultimately we see people committing suicide why because the love of friends has got has grown cold the love of many in the end days will grow cold we need not be surprised when people reject us we need not be surprised when people don't give us their support whereas we have been giving them support you have been giving them support for the rest of your life for as long as you've known this person you have been their pillar of strength but the one time that you need this person is that person is nowhere to be found remember what Christ said in the end days the love of many will grow cold sometimes you know your leaders will hurt you your leaders will say hateful things maybe at work your manager uh, was upset about something and they lashed out at you and she or he knows she was wrong or he was wrong but still they are not coming back to you to apologize they feel like ah you know what, that person is my subordinate. I don't need to be apologizing to subordinates. It's okay. Make peace with it. Accept it for yourself. Or maybe if you want to talk to them, talk to them. But if they won't still say sorry, if they still don't, you know, uh, humble themselves, make peace with it. Understand what Christ said these are the times that Christ spoke about where we hate each other in so many ways where we just speak however we want we live in a social media era where when you post a picture on social media you are trying to show your beautiful smile and people are looking at this cushion. Oh my gosh, why is this sweet baby uh, sleeping on a bedspread, people would say, right? Not even caring about how it's going to affect you when you hear people talking about your child like that. Remember, no need to be upset with anyone. You were forewarned, especially as a Christian. You were forewarned. That means we need to arm ourselves with with you know a shield of faith we need to remain strong we need to understand that it is in these times that actually um our light is supposed to shine through when people expect you to be upset because they were not at your parents um uh, funerals then they find you happy because you realize 
we are in the end times nobody cares for one another when people think they will you will be upset because they didn't attend your party they find you happy and excited to see them because your light is shining through you are showing you are becoming that salt on in the earth right or on earth you are becoming salt on earth why because you understand that you know what people don't have time for anybody anymore the love of many will grow cold so what i'm saying is that don't lose peace because of things that christ has already warned you about the issue is right now our faith is being tested you are tested i'm being tested where does our faith actually lie does it lie in human beings or does it lie in christ jesus and his father where is our faith exactly do we believe that if i pour out my heart in prayer then my mental health will will, will be restored why because i know that god is there in my in my vicinity he i'm in the presence of god all the time because he is the one person who promised never to leave nor forsake me guys we must never lose peace because of things that we have already been warned about just clothe yourself in strength and decide beforehand no matter what people do right now i understand that the love of many will grow cold and it says even in that verse uh, some of the verses that you know um jesus said because for the sake of oh for the sake of the elect those days will be shortened because if they were to be prolonged then nobody would be saved nobody would be saved that's how difficult uh, uh, these times that we are in are so because of god's love he will shorten these days and those of us who hold on until the end, who maintain peace, ultimately will be saved. Your peace, your responsibility. Don't sit there on your couch, in your home, on the floor, on the chair, or wherever you're sitting and get upset and lose peace because somebody didn't do something that you expect. Just understand them from a spiritual level that we are in the them the end times where the love of many is growing cold people don't care for their promises they make promises and they break them like it's nothing the love of many will grow cold guys we must never forget the teachings that we learn out of these books this book this holy bible it is so important. It's got so many uh, nuggets that will help us live a life of peace as Christ and his disciples did. Guys, I am Pulamans, your inner peace and purpose coach. Don't forget to do the right thing. Subscribe to my channel.